Okay, so just a little background. I want to show you guys how these parts and pieces go together. Everybody's been asking me about how the burn bowl works. What's the tube look like in the bottom? And so I, I, uh, I'm making another one, and this one did have a door on it. I'm going to actually close that hole up. Here I go again, actually. And uh, this is the drip tube, and I've had to patch some holes because this was an existing one that I'm redoing. And like I say, I'm going to close this door off so this won't have a door. Now I'm going to have my wife take over and keep an eye on me while I... All right, so... All right, so this is the burn bowl made out of a Freon tank cut off. This is the bottom of a Freon tank. This is just a spacer to put under the tank. So the bowl slides in, so I made it to where the bowl will slide in. And then you have to raise the bowl up. And put the spacer underneath. And now come take a, come over here and get a shot of this, Denise. So right here, this, you got it? So this pipe right now is a two and a half inch pipe which I've been using two inch, but somebody suggested to use a bigger pipe to get more airflow. Well, there's a, there's a point of no return where the, the pipe gets too big and then it ends up being exhaust instead of a, a supply air. Cause this is a rocket stove kind of effect. And so you want air to draw from the top down and feed the flame. This is also your drip tube for your oil. Now I've 45 this off, which I started doing. I like that better. Gives you more airflow into the this side of the burn bowl so that's all there is to it is get a shot on the bottom you can see on the bottom kind of what it looks like so that's all it is it's just a pipe coming in cut into the side get a shot of this side right here cut into the side on an angle and that could be a little bit less of an angle it's just I'm going to use that to light the fire as well so I'm going to drop some straws paper straws down that and light the diesel so you would put diesel in that burn bowl and i usually put it through the tube and then i throw some straws down in there that are lit and it starts the diesel then i start the oil flow so if you come over here on this side follow me over here James. so here's your pipe not really too much to it really it's very easy to to make this is this tank is a a hot water tank it was actually a, a, a gas heater so there's a, a five inch pipe that goes through the middle of this comes out both ends and so i ended up cutting that out and then i cut a hole for the burn bowl and i put an exhaust in it now that's the basic thing now if you come over here follow me over here Denise. If you come over here to the tank that i've already made you guys have seen this before this is the one that I use to heat my garage with. So same principle, pipe comes in, burn bowl to bottom, same principle. And I've got air attached to this here. This is where I like, I drop my diesel in through here and I also drop my straws down in there to light the, the diesel. And then come over here, Denise. And then over here, is where the oil control is. This is where I feed the oil. Comes into the drip tube and then down into the burn bowl. And then this is just my uh, turbo air. Now, if I like this and I don't like this fan right here, it'll actually still burn. And you can see it burn down in here. It does give you a little bit of smoke, this a little bit. So once you add the turbo air here, it takes all that smoke away. And it increases the ability for this tank to get really, really hot. This thing will get red. Now, this fan that I use is a is a little bit smaller, and I'm starting to use these bathroom exhaust fans because they're just quieter. But this one doesn't quite give enough CFMs into the into the turbo pipe, and so some of the air comes out right here. Come over here. Some of the air will come out this top, and so I want all this air to go in there. So I just simply Put this on there and then it stops that air from coming up and feeds the rest of the air down in there and that 
works really well. That gives me plenty of air of what I need. Now this tank right here, I'm going to show you how this starts. You can see I've cut a hole in the bottom. This is a propane tank. I've cut a hole in the bottom. I've taken the valve out and I use that for a drain and a water separator because there's a three quarter valve that comes down and I can either empty the bucket or what happens is your oil goes to the top and your water goes down to the bottom. So you use this for a water separator and drain your antifreeze or water or whatever to separate that from your oil. So this becomes a two part system for water separation and for feeding oil into the burner. Now if you come back over here, this tank is what I start out with. Old propane tank. You can get these anywhere. So I take this valve out, leaves a three quarter inch hole. That's where I put my drain. I end up turning this over when I use it and the bottom ends up getting cut out right here. And that's what you do with this tank to make it work. Okay, pretty simple. And I've got a pipe that slides over this so I can turn it and then I just put this in here to stop. I put something in here to keep this from turning in my vice. And then I use my pipe and then I turn it and take this valve out. That's how. Now if you'll follow me over here, This is another one that I've made. This is another one that I've made. And so this one I put two tanks on. Same process, two inch pipe going down into the burner bowl. You know what that looks like? Six inch pipe coming out. And I usually put an eight inch because I want a big exhaust. So I put an eight inch exhaust out wherever I exhaust. Now, in addition to what I've showed you, you pretty much have to make a platform. You can see here, how I've made a platform put these oil tanks on and then I also came over here on this side come over here today and I put a three-quarter outlet right here into this pipe is where I drip my oil through and then I have um, a fan blowing in so this is inch and a half this pipe is inch and a half going into a two inch which ends up working pretty good instead of a two inch because it's forced there anyway so you don't really need to go two on two. It makes it a little bit easier to tie in there, right here. So you get the feed, tie that into there. So that is hopefully enough to help you make one of these. Uh, it takes me about 10 hours to make one of these from start to finish. This is an off. Uh, also, a hot water tank, and I had to peel the outside off, take the foam off, and that's what I used. And then, so all this stuff is is just pretty much junk that people are throwing away. Your 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 tanks, your tanks, and then the freon bottom for the for the burn bowl. So you're not really having to buy too much, other than this pipe. And I found that you don't even need a valve now if you use those those uh, over here, this valve. You don't even really need this valve anymore. Because if you go with a smaller fan, you don't have to throttle it down. These fans are way too much force, so you usually end up having to throttle that down. So if you use a smaller fan that's just right, you don't even have to buy a valve. So you don't need any of this stuff. So, I mean, there's way to cheap, ways to go cheap. And so, you can kind of play with this system. And I, there's, you know, I mean, I've hit... People will give me ideas on different stuff, but the main thing about a rocket stove oil burner is this pipe has got to draw air through here. And so theoretically, you could come out level, like a regular rocket stove with a little bit of a grade, and then pipe into that and drip your oil. But um, if you go level, then you've got to have your air blowing in somehow. And I guess you could do it off the side if you wanted to, but then you couldn't see your flame. What I like is seeing my flame here. I like to look down in here and see my flame. And also easier to light because it just, psh, my straws just go down in there. And so if you had it horizontal, then you'd have to come up with some something over here to, uh, to light the fire. So I'm kind of looking at all the options. But this 
Seems to work okay. Uh, it does everything I want to do. You can light it through here. It gives you airflow into the burn bowl that way, and you can blow your turbo air into that. So this is pretty much the best design that I've come up with so far. On the latest one that I just showed you at the beginning, I've gone with that you know bigger pipe on the blow tube just to see if that does anything. But I think I'm going to find it really doesn't add anything, but I wanted to try it. So hopefully that helps you guys. Um, send me uh, any questions you have, and, and I'll try to get back to you and answer you. Thank you.